Welcome to another Invisible Wheelchair Podcast Tapping Recording. In this recording, I'm going to take you through a simple tapping session related to the podcast you just listened to. This is a simple tapping session as a starter to your tapping journey. This is not meant to be a full tapping session, but a starter that you can build on as you do more tapping and more of what your spirit needs to tap on comes out. If you have not tapped before and don't know or understand emotional freedom techniques, better known as tapping, then I suggest you go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com. Go to the About EFT page to find out more about how to tap and the tapping process before you begin this recording. This recording will not go over those details about how to do EFT or tapping. What I'm going to do is say a phrase, give you a space to repeat that phrase as we continue to tap. I will for myself start at the point above the eyes at the eyebrow and move to each point with each phrase or word that I use. I will not say the point name during this tapping recording. Remember again, if you have not tapped before, then please go to FocusedHealthyFamily.com or FamilyOCD.com and go to the About EFT page to find out more about it. Make sure to keep breathing normally. Keep hydrated. Drink plenty of water as you tap. And most of all, be conscious of what thoughts come up during your tapping. I call these pop-ups. They can be words, phrases, songs, pictures, or feelings. These could be very important messages from your mind as to what needs to be worked on, so you may want to write them down and add those pop-ups to your future tapping sessions. I would not brush them off lightly, no matter if they don't match what you're immediately tapping on. The mind does not bring them up lightly. So let's begin now. This is the tapping recording for Podcast 24, Resolutions and OCD. Let's start out with a deep breath first. Alright, let's begin with it. Above the eyes. We're going to go around the different points of the body. Each year brings good and bad events. Side of the eye. I wish to make the best of each of my years. Under the eye. I have trouble keeping my resolutions. Under the nose, I get frustrated and angry when I don't complete my resolutions. On the chin, New Year's resolutions. On the collarbone, my goals. Under the arm, they seem nearly impossible. Top of the head. Sometimes I set them too high. Above the eye. Sometimes I set them too low. Side of the eyes. They really frustrate me. Under the eye. What is important to me now? Under the nose. I can't see that clearly. On the chin. There are too many things that are important to me now. Collarbone, and I'm not sure which one fits me best. Up 
under the arm. I can't seem to find the perfect one. Top of the head. The resolution and goals must be perfect. Of the eye, but when I look at them, I see problems. Side of the eyes, there's never enough money. Of the eye, or enough time. And the nose, or enough energy. to make my resolutions come true. On the collarbone, I can't seem to clear my mind. On the arm, and to make good decisions. Up ahead, so I don't feel like I make good resolutions. The eye. They seem so far away. Side of the eyes. They don't seem possible. Under the eye. I may never reach them. Under the nose, and that'll frustrate me. Might it be possible? On the telephone, that this year could be different. Under the arm, I can't seem to stop thinking negatively. because of all the failures I've had in the past. Well, the eye, it makes me believe I'm going to fail this time too. Side of the eyes, might it be possible? Under the eye, it fails because of what I think. It could be my thinking. On the chin that is guiding me into failure. On the collarbone, is it possible for me to change my thinking? That is hard for me. Under the arm, that is hard for me to understand. Up of the head, no way. Above the eyes, might it be possible that I could change? Side of the eyes, but I'm realizing now. Under the eye, that when I want to change something, And I take it slow. On the chin, I can change things. On the telephone, I've done it in the past. Under the arm, but only if I take it slow. Head, one step at a time. Of 
backyard. Otherwise, I get overwhelmed. Find the eyes. Might it be possible? Find the eyes. To change my thinking. And then those. By taking the change. And the chin. One step at a time. I may get overwhelmed. And yarn, but most of the time, I've shown in the past. So the eye, if I take change slowly. I stay much calmer. And the, eyes, and the change happens. Under the nose, I am ready for change. On the chin, I will, I will change, manage my change. I will watch any overwhelm. On the arm to help manage that overwhelm. Top of the head. I will take it slowly. Again, to avoid the overwhelm. With this process, maybe I, I can change my thinking under the nose, and I can change my life. I am on the chin, I am ready for this change. I am ready to relax and make this change. Come on. I am ready to relax and make this change now. Alright, there and take another deep breath. I know that was a, some simple phrases, but I hope you can go over them a couple of times and then be very open in your mind as to what comes out from those phrases. What does your mind say about them? Is there resistance in there? If there's resistance, what is it saying? And what is it saying about you? So as you hear these resistance, the more you do this tapping, be open to tapping around those resistance and find out what this is really about. Do these tappings every day and be very open to what's going on in the mind, the real messages that are back there that will help you to overcome them instead of just pushing them back down. So remember, keep tapping, talking, and transcending your life into new heights. Thank you for tapping and keep tapping and have a great day.